John 10, 10 says that the thief only comes only to the thief cometh only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is the star hunter. The greatest or the chief star hunter is Satan, Lucifer, the deceiver, the adversary, the enemies of Christianity. The Bible says that we war, war not against flesh and blood. For our warfare is not against flesh and blood, but we are wrestling against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. Demonic spirit, these are those forces fighting against us and their supreme leader is Satan, Lucifer, the deceiver. And their, his basic agenda is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And some, sometimes to, Satan employs some human personality who avail themselves for Satan to fuel them and then they begin to war after the plan and the purpose of God concerning your life and concerning my life. Those individuals are called agents. Those individuals are called agents. As, uh, one example of an agent is Judas Iscariot. The Bible says that and Satan entered into Judas and he betrayed Jesus Christ. So sometimes if Satan cannot get directly at, attack you, he is going to find a human personality, enter into the person and the person will seem to be fighting against you, fighting against your breakthrough, fighting against your peace, fighting against your job, fighting against your marriage, fighting against your children and human personality. You will realize that this in individual is, has allowed Satan to possess them to be warring against you. Sometimes too, as I told you, Satan enters into human personalities and they begin to fight against our lives. One example is the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. When Jesus Christ was born, immediately that he was born, Satan was trying to use um, Herod as an agent to kill Jesus. So Bible says that during the time that Jesus was born, when the wise men came to Herod to tell him that we have come to see whether the king is born in your palace, Aaron says that go and find out who, who this child is and come and give me news. And when the wise men, the Holy Spirit revealed to the wise men not to return back to Herod, the Herod decided to kill all the children at the age of two and, and below because he knew that a star had been born. And so he wanted to kill. He was hunting down for the star. He didn't want the star of Jesus Christ to appear. So I want you to know that the first thing that Satan does is to kill. To kill, to either kill you or kill your dream or kill your vision or kill your aspiration or kill. He wants to just stop you first go. So he entered into Herod. He was, Herod was being used as an agent. But thanks be to God. When you and I are walking with God and being filled with the Holy Spirit, whatever the devil plan concerning your life, concerning my life, it will be revealed unto us by the Holy Spirit so much that we don't fall into the trap, into the snares, into the uh, plans of the enemy. That's why I'm doing this teaching so that you begin to allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to you whatever trust, whatever snares, whatever projection, prediction, expectations of the enemy against your life so that you, uh, the Holy Spirit will be begin to divinely guide you so that you don't fall into the traps of your enemies otherwise they will kill you they will kill your dream they will kill your marriage they will kill your mar uh, your, your the purpose of god concerning your life star hunters are seeking pursuing searching for your your star and they are trying to stop your star from shining from brightening from seeing showing up so you have to make sure that the holy spirit is with you that's why the bible says that and then the holy spirit revealed to the wise men in the middle of the night that they should not return back to herod in their dream god spoke to them in a dream by the holy spirit that they shouldn't return if the holy the bible says that wise men even though they were wise they did never they never knew the evil intention of herod concerning the small lad, Jesus Christ, when he was only a child, they never knew what Herod was thinking. But it took the Holy Spirit to reveal to them that Herod indeed wants to kill Jesus Christ because he has seen that Jesus Christ has a great star, star and is going to do mighty things. Beloved, I tell you the truth. With your carnal mind, with your physical understanding, you may never know who really wants to stop you, who really wants to trap you, who wants to uh, 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 blackmail you, who wants to get you out of your job, who wants to destroy your marriage, destroy your life, uh, or sabotage the purpose of God concerning your life. It will take the Holy Spirit. It will take the Holy Spirit. The wise men, even though they were wise, they could never discern the plans, the evil motives of Herod. It took the Holy Spirit. Some of you, you are working with 
associates or co-workers and they are laughing with you but you never know that when you turn your back they are plan planning and scheming evil as to how they can get you fired especially in this hard economy some people somebody want to take your position you never know you are going with your girlfriend going to the mall you never know that he's interested in your husband and they want to take him you need the holy spirit to be able to dis reveal to you every plans of the enemy against your life against your marriage against your job against your finances anything that the devil is planning against your children to, to, to destroy them, to distract them, to let them go into bad company. If you are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, just as we reveal to Joseph and Mary, the Holy Spirit will also reveal to you the evil intention of the things that are being planned against you and your household, and the Holy Spirit will deliver you. The Holy Spirit will liberate you. The Holy Spirit will order your steps so that you don't fall into the traps of the enemy. It's very important. So the Bible here makes us to understand that Herod was the star hunter to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ had a star. God had brought him to come and die for you and I that we may have eternal life Satan knew that Jesus Christ was the deliverer Jesus why was the savior of the world the love of God that, take, that takes away the sins of the world so Herod Satan entered into Herod and made an, Herod an agent and Herod at that time killed all the children at the age of two and below because he knew that Jesus Christ was born very important to know that the devil the first mission is to kill to kill he will kill you physically if he doesn't kill you physically he can kill your dreams he can kill your vision he can kill your purpose some of you your dreams your visions are killed because you have stopped dreaming you have given up on your dreams you are no more zealous or passionate about the purpose of god concerning your life the devil has succeeded in killing it but today i came to revive your dreams in the name of jesus christ anything dream any vision any purpose that is dead in your life i command it in the name of our lord jesus christ there is already your power in the name of Jesus Christ to resurrect your dreams, your vision, your purpose on earth, and you shall fulfill God's purpose, God's counsel, God's plan, God's ultimate will for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. When we look at the lives of Moses, when Moses was also born, the Bible says that Satan also entered into Herod and uh, Pharaoh, and Pharaoh was killing all the age group. That's why Moses' mom hid Moses and placed him in the river Nile. Why? Because a deliverer, the savior of the Israelites, who were crying for deliverance after 430 years in bondage, when Satan knew that their deliverance was coming, he entered into Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh, begin to kill all the young um, Hebrew boys. And that is how God also brought deliverance. God uh, told Joshua, uh, Moses' mother, and, and guided her, and she placed the child on River Nile. And that's why how the one who was seeking to kill Moses, Moses rather entered, uh, ended up in his own house without him knowing. The Holy Ghost will order your steps, and the, those who want to kill your life, kill your destiny, kill your vision, they will not be able to touch you. So here also in old, the Old Testament, we realize that... Um, Satan, the deceiver, who comes to kill, to steal, and destroy, entered into Pharaoh, and they were attacking Moses, because Moses had a star, and Pharaoh was the star hunter. Moses was the, had a star, and Herod was the star hunter. Now we looked at Joseph. I already read to you Joseph. Joseph also had a purpose. His star was shining. God wanted him to become a deliverer, because there was going to be a famine in the years to come and God was preparing him to be a deliverer to the Israelites but the Bible says that the devil was also using his own brothers your own brothers your own relatives your own family members sometimes can allow themselves to be used against you they wanted to kill him they wanted to destroy Joseph they took his coat of many colors they placed him in a in a, in a well and they sold him you no know, his own brothers were star hunters some of you your very problem is coming from inside the, 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 that's what the Bible says that a man's own enemies will be people who are close to him. Jesus Christ's own disciple, Judas Iscariot, is the one who betrayed him. So please be very sensitive to the Holy Spirit and he will begin to open your spiritual eyes of understanding and give you understanding of what the enemy is trying to do against you, against your marriage, against your job, against your finances, against your family, against your spirituality. You need to walk with the Holy Spirit and he will reveal all truth. Everything being done in the secret against your life, the Holy Spirit will, will reveal to you. So we've talked about the star hunter, the greatest star, the greatest star, Jesus Christ, and the star hunter was Herod. The great, uh, Moses was the star, and the star hunter was Pharaoh. Uh, Joseph was the star, 
and his brothers were the star hunters. As we said, the first thing the star hunters, the pursuers and seekers of your downfall and to uh, the, the hunters to destroy you, the first thing they will try to do is to kill, steal and to destroy you. The first thing is to kill. When they don't succeed in killing you, then their next plan for your life is that they are going to resolve. They are going to resolve to destroy you by putting obstacles in your way. Because they will put obstacles in your way to distract you. Because in the first way, they tried to kill you and they couldn't succeed in killing your dreams or killing you physically or killing your dreams. So now what they are going to do next is to distract you so that you don't get focused. You are so distracted that you don't focus on the purpose, the will, the program and the plan, the counsel of God concerning your life. So they bring distractions in your life. And some of the distractions they can bring in your life could be even sickness. For example, a typical example with the woman with the issue of blood. Remember, the Bible says that she spent all her life battling sickness. So all this man's woman's life, she was trying to cure herself of the bleeding, constant bleeding, constant bleeding, and spending all her life worth of money, all her savings on with doctors, and yes, so she couldn't get better. So if you are constantly distracted by sickness, you realize that you can never focus on any purpose in your life because constantly your main vision, your main aim is to get cured, is to get yourself healed. This is some of the satanic distractions that the devil can bring in your life. He can even bring sickness or he can bring uh, anything in your way to distract you. Most of us, we are so distracted with many, many things and we are not focusing on the most important thing that God wants us to accomplish. So today I want you to look deep down into your life and sense that what is it that the devil is using to distract me from achieving the purpose for which I was born to shine for my star to show up make sure that the devil does not succeed in distracting you one of the major plans of the enemy is distracting people from the best he knows the best for your life he will distract you and cause you and i to settle for the good instead of the best today allow god to help you diagnose where the devil is succeeding to distract you it could be sickness it can use your marriage it can use anything to distract you so much that you are unable to focus on your vision the plan the purpose and, and make a headway you are always concentrating on the things which are not necessary because you are being distracted no make sure that you are not distracted this is another agenda and plans of the enemy